Yo, what is up, guys? Merc in the Max, and welcome back to Murky Cloudcast, episode number eight. And uh, I'm joined along here with my good friend Castiel or Cloud Style Gamer. You guys best know him as. And we have a special guest, Fever Gaming, PS Vita Gaming, something. Just kidding. No, yeah, it's not. It's Fever Gaming now. <laughs> Fever Gaming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead and. Uh... So, guys, go ahead and say hi. Uh, Hello. Hello, Merc. How's it going? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. How are you guys? Pretty good. Pretty good. Not too bad. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a whole week. Back to another Sunday. Back for another podcast. Christmas good break. times. Christmas break. Yeah, oh, yeah. Times. This, is, this is the last podcast before Christmas. Oh, yeah. Nice. We have to make this one big. Have, like, Very fireworks right. and stuff going on. <laughs> right. Yeah, Merc. That's your job. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> okay. So okay. I'll go and introduce us here. What's going on? What's, uh, what's so... We are back with our second episode on Merck's channel, as you all know, because Merck is cool and a sloth, and he now hosts the podcast. And, uh, you know, as usual, we always kick off with what we've been playing, and seeing as Fever is our new guest, he can tell us what he's been playing this week. So recently, I've been playing uh, Hotline Miami on the PlayStation Vita. And for those that oh. don't know, I do love my PlayStation Vita, and I do make a lot of PS Vita vi uh, videos. So in case you're like, hey, what's the Vita all about? So yeah, I've been playing Hotline Miami, the first one, in anticipation for the second one. Have you guys played that one? I haven't played Hot Miami, but I've seen it. It's like that picture with like a pig face kind of looking dude or something like yeah, that. Yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of like the, the screen on it. But yeah, it's like this 16-bit retro game, but like the music on it, the blood, and it's just, it's so cool. Oh, it's pretty fun. I like I like 16-bit games, even though they're like older and stuff. Like they give it that old classic feel. It's still pretty fun. Yeah, Especially exactly. Especially the phones and stuff like that. I love that. Yeah, you know the thing. The thing I've uh, grown to like, as you're saying, with the uh, the sound is pretty good. I never really used to appreciate the soundtracks of games, but damn, I'm really starting to appreciate them. Some games have really good soundtracks. Like you know, Destiny, it's a shit game. Let's be honest, it gets boring really quickly. But that soundtrack, <laughs> so good, so good. I don't think. What was it? Yeah, I think Journey was the one that won. What was it? A Grammy? Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. For like the best soundtrack, soundtrack on the game, it's like the first one that's ever won that. That's, that's crazy. So it's a never... pretty boring game, though, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Great soundtrack, but boring game. Sounds about oh. right. What have you been playing this week, Cloud? Tell us. Me? I have been playing, surprise, surprise, Far Cry 4 and Dragon Age Inquisition again. Damn. I'm so I'm so excited. That's all I've been doing for, like, the last three weeks. Uh, not much to update, except we tried to play co-op, and uh, Merc, Merc failed to do it. He couldn't do it for some Ooh. reason. Yeah, yeah, you tell him, Beaver. Uh, Dragon Age, going well. I actually started a new character now. I was like, you know what? An elf with dual swords is pretty cool, but I want to be a <laughs> badass warrior with a shield and just bash everyone out the way. So that's what I'm doing now. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, Far Cry 5, Fire Cry 4 isn't a surprise when it comes to Cloud, but uh, this week I've been playing a lot of Minecraft PC. That's not a surprise at all. Uh, you know, I don't like Minecraft at all, but... Um, <gasps> That's what I've been playing this week, and I've been actually I haven't been able to play Minecraft PC for a couple months now since I uh, moved into a new casita house in Spanish. But um, <laughs> for it's French. Time. Get it right. I was, <laughs> like, I was like, what? It's, it's not like, arguing about languages, okay? Okay, <laughs> none of that. Okay, okay. calm down. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, okay. Minecraft PC is quite a joy, but what uh, what what do we have in the gaming news for today? Oh, uh, well, so we got a pretty long list today, so we'll try and get through it as quickly as possible. But I think the biggest news of all, especially for us EU people, is a uh, Minecraft TU19. Yeah, TU19. It's out. That means horses, uh, all those kind of things, hoppers, droppers, fireworks, all that kind of jazz. It's out in Europe right now. For all those who haven't downloaded, it, go download it right now. No, just do it right now. Right now. But still watch this, uh, our podcast as well. So do you it. don't have to watch it. Just listen. You can download and listen at the same time. It works. Exactly. I swear. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's the future, it's the 21st century. Exactly, that's why we have a podcast, you know, if you're playing your games and you're not really interested in watching a video, you can just put our, uh, our podcast in your ears and play a game while you listen to us. It's pretty good, I like it. It will improve your gaming experience and make you do better in a game, scientifically proven. Oh yeah, <laughs> By Albert Dr. Einstein. Fever. Oh, yeah, I was about <laughs> to say that, Dr. Fever. So, so it must be true. <laughs> well, yeah, so let's talk about TU19. I know, uh, Fever, you're from America, right? I just America, you. yeah. America, yeah. Okay, so you guys have no idea. 
you haven't seen TU19 yet, you haven't got your hand on it yet, so you can't really comment, but it's been pretty good so far. I mean, I took on the Wither in, for fun. He's a badass boss. He destroys everything. He shoots like, I don't know how many of you guys have seen him on PC, but he shoots uh, yeah. Wither Skeleton Scales that explode, but he just shoots them at everything. It's not just you. He's like, cow, I'm going to shoot you. Oh, Skeleton, <laughs> I'm going to shoot you too. He's just, he's just one badass boss, but with like a fully enchanted diamond sword, he still is ridiculously hard to take down, so it'll be... Be pretty cool to have like a three or four man team take him on. Definitely a video on that sometime. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. I mean, I did get the chance to play uh, TU19 when I was at the PlayStation Experience event. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. And yeah, they, they didn't, you know, it was just kind of like demonstrating what it was and whatnot. But yeah, it was cool. I think that they added a lot like fireworks, beacons, and like horses, obviously, donkeys and mules and stuff. But then they also like adventure mode, which I was like, whoa, what oh, is yeah, this all adventure about? Mode. And so. Yeah, that's really exciting. I can't wait. I know Xbox got it, but, you know, PlayStation is where it's at. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty much a predominantly PlayStation podcast anyway, so. <laughs> oh, for I thought we were talking about Xbox. I thought we were Wii U. I thought we were yeah, Wii U. I thought we were Wii U, too. Oh, uh, sorry, man, but Minecraft isn't coming out on Wii U. All right, U guys, I guess yet. I'm out then. Bye. <laughs> PS Vita Gaming. <laughs> right. And he's, he's, he's hating on the PS uh, community. What an idiot. We're all those it's okay, we'll, wondering... we'll mute him now. <laughs> what the adventure mode is uh the adventure mode actually is where you can't use other tools for other things so for example say if you want to break some dirt with a sword it's impossible you have to use a shovel uh same for goes along for wood cobblestone all that good stuff you have to use certain tools to break it so it's almost like if you're in real life practically but you're a box character who runs around and likes killing zombies and messing shit up Hey, let me tell you, if I uh, if I take a sword, I can still dig a hole, okay? Let me tell you, <laughs> Try. in real life. <laughs> well, probably... with Adventure Mode, if you can, if you combine it with some of the new host options that we are given, like Keep Inventory, and that you get, the Adventure Maps are going to get pretty pretty badass now. So I'm yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to PC standards. It's, it's good. It's very good. Good progress, obviously, mm -hmm. for sure. You know what really pissed me off, though? Uh, you can't craft a name tag. Like, I got some dogs, and then I was like, I'm going to make him a name tag. And you can't. You have to find him in, like, a saddle in, in loot caves and stuff, and that's just uh, lame. I mean, seriously, like, what what about a piece of paper and string? Surely that makes <laughs> a name tag. <laughs> I mean, for real. <laughs> whatever. Like, whatever the budget yeah. is, though, you know what I mean? You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, what else big news on uh, TU19? Let me think. I haven't really played, to be honest. Like, Merc and Carl were laughing at me because... Uh, I downloaded it, and I played it for about five minutes, and they're like, dude, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm playing Binding of Isaac now. And they're like, oh, God, <laughs> you've got DU19, you're not even playing it. Yeah. So I you know, I didn't see that much, but uh, hardened clay, all the different stained clays, that's awesome. It's going to be great for building. Uh, a, lot, there's the red, a lot of the redstone that come out, like uh, redstone, comparators, hoppers, droppers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah that's uh, true. So the, I think I believe it's hoppers where uh, you could throw something, an item, and it'll go into a chest or into a dispenser or something like it'll store it somewhere. So, for example, what I've seen a lot in uh, faction servers, uh, especially on PC, they get the droppers or the, the hoppers, one of those, and they put them, they dig a deep hole, very deep, huge, and then once those people fall, they put like four droppers around it, chests under it. So as soon as they hit the floor, once they hit the droppers, they instantly die drop all their stuff, and it just goes straight into the chest so it doesn't, like, despawn whenever they clear the lag or whatever, mm -hmm. which is a pretty good idea. That actually sounds like a, it'd be really fun to have, like, especially on Minecraft, PS4, PS3, or PS Vita. But mm -hmm. definitely sure that. Oh, yeah. So what else is there? There was one more thing. I had it in my mind, and then I listened to Merck talking, and I forgot. Hold on. Give me three <laughs> seconds. Dang it, yeah, Merck. You guys, yeah, you guys keep talking, and then if it comes to mind, I'll shout it out. So talk about TU19. Um, do you have anything, Fever? I uh, well, I know th that it's going to be on the PlayStation Vita. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to ask. That was one thing. Is it coming out on the PlayStation Vita? Yeah, uh, so, I mean, today? it's pretty much going to be the same thing. You know, what? The, any update that the PS3 gets, the PS Vita is yeah. going to get simultaneously, okay, cool. is the idea. Yeah. Um, I did get, the, I get, I actually got a chance to play it on the PlayStation Vita, and, and it plays really well. You know, I think that a lot of people overseen the, oh, PS Vita, it's going to be, you know, it's not that good. It's still mm. updated, you know, and I think that people don't realize that, that there's still a lot of, and there's still a lot of issues with it, though, but with TU19, I'll add a more in incentive for people to play, you know, on the go. That sounds yeah, my brother my brother plays multiplayer with me. We use, a, what do you call it, remote play, and we yeah. can play. It's complicated as shit to get it on there, 
God, it's ridiculous. Like, to yeah, try it's and... a little. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have like two profiles logged in, and then you have to quickly remote connect remote play as you're loading up the map, and it has to be an online game. It's just outrageously confusing, but yeah, it works and it's good. So I can't remember what I wanted to ask, so we'll just have to bury it. Cloud has forgotten, and move <laughs> on to the next Minecraft story, and that is. In fact, Minecraft Story Mode coming out from Telltale Games, who have released Borderlands, uh, Games of Throne, Wolf Among Us, uh, Walking Dead, all point-and-click style story adventure games. I don't know if any of you have played any of those. I actually have. Ooh, which one? I don't think I've played. I played Borderlands. I have played Borderlands. I played uh, Walking Dead. Oh, nice. How was it? Uh, it was apparently really, cool. really good. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I wasn't. I don't know what I was expecting when I started. I'm like, what is this game all about? Because a lot of people were, you know, playing about it. I'm like, oh, let me get it. And I think it was really cool. It's different because you don't. There really isn't like you know shooting action. It's more like dialogue and storytelling. Yeah. But it's it works really well. So it's yeah, it's more all about like interactive, isn't it? Like you press certain much. buttons and stuff, and then like they react a certain way. So kind of like. Uh... Well, it's it's like a, yeah, it's like someone reading you a story. One of yeah, those, like yeah. audio books. <laughs> yeah. Actually, like uh, but, scenes and stuff and all that. And games and stuff. Where, where it's really good, I think, is the, your decisions weigh a lot on the how the story turns out. So I don't know how much you experience on that, how many times you played through the game. But from what I've seen on YouTube and that, uh, some guy will make one decision, another guy will make a different decision, and the ending is then completely different. So it's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. They have announced, though, that the story is going to have nothing to do with anything uh, Minecraft, as in no Steve, no Hero Brian, or anything like that. It's just going to be a completely made-up story. But I'm still interested. I'll probably get it. It's normally like 10 bucks or something, so it's not a hugely expensive game. Yeah, they're not that bad. Sounds amazing. That sounds pretty fun. Yeah, they're pretty good on the Vita, though, as well, because of the, like, when you have to swipe and stuff. You have to, like, swipe across to dodge something happening or a bullet much yeah. easier than when you have to use a control to try and click stuff i can imagine much easier yeah and i feel that they uh, it doesn't like offer anything you know wow on the ps vita but it does have like the touch screen and like what you said swiping and stuff it has that more of that interaction feeling which i think works perfect on these games yeah well, there we go there we go so uh away from minecraft for a little bit we'll be coming back because there's a lot of minecraft news uh, this <laughs> week but uh, another big announcement is gta 5 online heist has finally been Revealed, announced again. Uh, it's not out yet, though. So sorry, guys. But they have said it's ready, and they kind of gave an explanation of it being, you know, they which I do appreciate. They said we had a had a plan for it, and we announced it. I think it was over a year ago already. And yeah. then when we started testing it properly, it didn't really work. And after all we promised, we didn't want to release it not working properly. Which, fair enough, respect. Uh, but Very it looks good. pretty good so far, and it looks like it's gonna work. So four players gonna be fun that yeah is. i'm excited for that i saw the trailer i'm like oh this is exactly what a lot of people were hoping when it came out like maybe a month too but like you said it wasn't totally completely finished and i think that's what it's much more better to actually have something that works as opposed to something that doesn't you want to wait patience is a virtue guys yeah it is <laughs> no exactly uh, so, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what they yeah. said is uh there's four players that will take part and then there's gonna be like a host of the heist uh, and you've got to front the cash, so it's pretty scary. Like, if you're the host, you've got to pay for everything that's going to happen. And then there's, I think there's 20 missions overall, four main missions, and each of them have four side quests attached to them that you have to do first before you can actually do the main heist. Uh, what I'm worried about, though, is all the little heists, everyone gets paid except for the host after the little heist, and then the main heist, is when the host gets paid, but what's going to stop people from doing the four minor ones and then just dropping out and taking the cash they've earned and not worried about the main heist? So just taking doing the little ones just so they don't have to do the bigger ones. Yeah, because they're not going to get anything off of it. Yeah, I think that would be unless maybe I mean they're working something. Maybe they can change the that off. Needs. Yeah, I mean right. I mean, I, I mean they might take like take the cash away or something if they quit. If you if you disconnect or something, they might be like, oh, all your cash you earned is now gone. It's like, ah. no. <laughs> that would be, uh, that'd be a good idea, but what if you got like host or internet connection? That'd be something. Yeah, that would yeah there was some. It kind of makes it interesting that they were talking about it. You know, if someone drops out, it's kind of like the guy gets killed in the heist. So it's like, oh shit, we're down to three guys now. Damn it, we're going to change tactics or something. So kind of interesting. I mean, it, it, it yeah, is realistic, cool. I yeah. suppose. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you to go. To that and extent. Then, 
<laughs> Some more GTA 5 news as they've brought out a small update, which we were all hoping was heist, but it was not. It is indeed the Christmas update, so now you get a couple of Christmas clothing items. It snows, and there was one other thing that I didn't write down, so I can't remember. Don't hate me. Anyone else hear about it? Or was it just me? No, it was like I what I saw was like a screenshot of like different skin packs. Well, I think one was like the gingerbread man, so he was like, Oh, shooting. yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really funny. I think there was a uh, like a head and stuff, like a penguin head. There was a uh, Santa Claus head, and there was another one. I forgot, I think it was like uh, Saint Nick or something like that. I don't know, weird. Saint Nick, Father but Christmas, Santa Claus, you know, all those names for the one fat oh, guy in the red suit. Yeah, Good yeah. Work, okay. Funny story. I I heard uh, I heard. The, I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, Santa Claus used to be green and tall and skinny. Did you know that? Oh, I didn't know that. that. Yeah, and you know, you know where uh, uh, the main change of him appeared, like the the public change. Coke. Yeah, it was Coke. Came. They started using him. I think it's like 1930s or something. They started using him in uh, advertising campaigns as a fat guy in a red suit. Uh, and although he'd been pictured like that already when Coke uh, produced it like that, that's when he started taking over as a fat dude in a red suit instead of a tall dude in a green suit. Weird. Huh. Hmm. Learned that this year. Strange. Strange stuff. Uh, moving also, swiftly on. Also, did you know that Santa Claus is not real? But anyways, oh. you were saying? Dude, <laughs> dude. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you okay. hurt Cloud's feelings. Yeah. I, uh, so, I'm, RT, I, if you cry every time. His child. You just ruined his child. Yeah. <laughs> My child. A child? A wow, child, I ruined his child. His childhood. Sorry. His sorry, future no. child is ruined. Just, yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, moving on. Enough Christmas stuff. God, it's not Christmas yet. Halo 5. I know we PlayStation, but who doesn't love good Halo? Halo 5 beta test was this weekend. Did anyone play it? I highly doubt it because no one has an Xbox. No, I heard that. It, I mean, people were having both like, oh, it works. Oh, it doesn't. So, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. You mean like the, like the servers, collection. Like the servers or something <laughs> like that. that. Like they couldn't actually play it. And then other people like, oh, it's a lot of fun. So, I don't know. That's all I heard. Very confusing. Well, you know, it's Halo, and they're kind of struggling with the uh, MCC, Master Chief Collection at the moment, which everyone was like, oh my god, greatest collection ever. And it is probably one of the greatest collections ever, but uh, yeah, it does not make anything better when none of the servers work, so. Yeah, it can be an If that's happening with Halo 5 too, I am starting to feel sorry for Halo 5, the franchise. A little bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble. But, okay, there we go. See, PlayStation, we don't have much to say about Halo, except it's a good game. Another game uh, coming out is, I don't know if any of you played Lord of the Fallen. I spoke about it for a bit. I did a video or two on it. It's pretty much Dark Souls, but just a different name and different developer. No, I haven't Either. heard about that one, yeah. You played it? Have you played it, though? Uh, uh, I, I played Dark Souls, yeah, but that's yeah. about it. Yeah, it's pretty much the same game mechanics, just different world. It's like, they openly said they use the style of Dark Souls to create the game. But the news is it's coming out to all mobile versions, like, hmm. you know, tablets, iPads, cell phones. I don't really know how that's going to work because can you imagine how to play Dark Souls on a iPad? I just I could just imagine so many people getting frustrated that they will be throwing their phones because of, <laughs> you know, of how that is. But I don't think that's a perfect platform, honestly. I don't know. I feel I, weird. Like, I think mobile games should be something like, oh, it's five, ten minutes, you're done. But if I you have agree. something that's like story based, or, like something that you would normally play on a console or PC, it just doesn't fit well. You know? Yeah. And the thing is, uh, already, I mean, smartphone batteries are pretty decent. But if you're trying to run a game that powerful, surely it's just going to eat the life out of your battery. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. God. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. Someone get it. Let us know how it goes. Uh, another game, uh, well, this game's already been announced for a while, but a new section, a bit more news on its Dying Light. I think we spoke about it last week, Merck, with Dying the pop Oh, the uh, zombie game, the zombie game. Yeah. 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 So they've announced a bit of the multiplayer version. So first off, uh, you can actually fight against other players. Uh, there's a setting that you they spoke about, you can turn it on or off, is people can invade your world as a zombie. So that's Ooh. pretty cool. Uh, that actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah, so, I, I mean, it might be a bit annoying because, I mean, there's always hacking and stuff, especially on the PC kind of stuff, so you'll have yeah. OP zombies coming in there, but the idea is pretty cool, and that they give you the option to turn it on and off is so cool. Uh, so that'll be interesting. There wasn't much news, he just announced that, and there, if I remember correctly, 
I just saw a video on it on IGN because IGN is the best place for news besides this podcast. And uh, <laughs> does that have too much water though? Does that uh, no, this. Uh, no, no, it's okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I literally thought you meant that, and then my brain clicked. It took a while. It took ah, a while to... I got it. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> People get an internet joke. Carrying on. Uh, it's got some co-op elements. Uh, they didn't. They didn't really announce how much of it would be, uh, but it looks good. It's a co-op par- parkour game. Uh, not co-op. God damn it. It's a parkour game with zombies. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer. What do you guys think? Uh, I've seen the trailer and it looks like it's gonna be pretty fun just because it has like that mirror's edge. I think I said this last time, like that mirror's yeah. edge touch to it. We're like sliding and doing all kinds of crazy jumps and all that was pretty awesome i really enjoyed mirror's edge even though i didn't buy it and i just played the demo it still was really fun but i'm definitely gonna buy dying light for you guys that want to add me to play that game merc underscore nmex playstation 4 only <laughs> yeah no, definitely look game we could definitely look forward to that game yeah, expect me to start like screaming obnoxiously as well when i play that game <laughs> sounds sounds like a fun person to watch play um what else did they say there was one more thing uh you see i'm having a really bad day today guys i just can't remember anything like i had this whole script written out and i had ideas on everything and i read all the news and i watched all the videos and now every time it gets to a topic my brain just decides you know what i'm gonna forget everything about that topic because it was actually a really good thing and oh yeah, yeah that's it that's it so it's got a day and night cycle hence the dying light and in the day the zombies are like really slow and underpowered and you can kind of just run around them and kick them in the face and then at night they become all fast and intelligent and stuff so that's pretty cool yeah Mm -hmm. and uh before i look stupid and forget more stuff let's move on to something fever brought in about his news oh yeah so me being me that I, i like the playstation vita uh the playstation Vita received a small little discount if you will now it's co- usually cost 200 bucks but now you can go ahead and get a playstation vita on amazon for 170 in the united states so if you ever wanted to get a playstation vita but you're like ah oh, the price isn't you know that well now, now there's an incentive to buy it i personally like it you know it's a fun little handheld there's a lot of cool games on it so it's 30 bucks cheaper now so hey why not and <laughs> going off of that i just saw right now on twitter that you were right Merck. The PlayStation 4 received a temporarily discount, so it's like at 3.30 right now. Yeah, on yeah 3.30. Walmart, yeah. So if you wanted to be a PS4, miss out on the Black Friday specials, go pick it up now. Yeah. At your local Walmart. Exactly. At your local uh, Walmart, and- yeah. <laughs> Use Good discount code Merc and MX. <laughs> to get a 0% discount. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm sorry. And... Uh, <laughs> So PS Vita, I've got one of those, and uh, I I've never played it. I pretty much gave it to my brother, and he plays it, and uh, he kind of plays it occasionally. He uses it more for remote play now on my PS4 than anything else. And when I bought it, I I enjoyed it, but I kind of ran out of games really quickly because I bought it. It's almost two years ago now, like six months after it came out, and there was like no games on it. And the game's gotten better. I haven't really had a look around. Yeah, I'm actually speaking of which, making my top 10 PlayStation Vita games of 2014. Now, nice. be on the lookout for that one. Yeah, it should be coming out cool. this week. But more than anything, yeah, you're right. When, when the PlayStation Vita came out, there were a few games that, oh, this is cool. But then it was like a drought. It was like nothing. Yeah. And more than anything, the games, I'll be, I'll be honest, I think I played more PSN titles that are also on PS3 and PS4 than actual exclusive PlayStation Vita games. But it's not to say that the PS Vita doesn't have any games. It's, it's one of those things that, like, I would rather play a Hall on Miami on my PS Vita than on PS4, just because I feel that it just works. And I like it does like both of them work, but it feels better. You know, putting some headphones on, listen to the soundtrack, but playing on your handheld, like it's just much more better. And there is more games. There is more big games. There's much more smaller games. I mean, this still needs more work, you know. But hey, it's getting there. It's getting there for sure. Nothing near the 3DS though. Nothing there. No, I mean. 3DS has Pokemon, so let's be honest, can't compare. Yeah, <laughs> PS Vita oh, has uh, PlayStation Vita pets. No, not the oh, same. really? Yeah, it does. <laughs> you know, like Nintendo oh, dogs? Yeah. Oh, PS yeah. Vita now. Oh, God. Oh, just everyone ignore that. That, that <laughs> right? means just, nothing. Yeah, just Nintendo <laughs> dogs. Oh, God. Um, 
God damn, I've done it again. I had something really important to tell you guys, and then I forgot. So, moving on, uh, talking about money. Notch himself, Mr. Minecraft, has uh, spent his Minecraft money pretty well. He has outbid Jay-Z and Beyonce for the most expensive house in Beverly Hills, and that is a $70 million eight-bedroom, uh, $5,000 bathroom uh, house. Yeah, in Beverly Hills. $70 million. Hey, that is insane. I mean, he what was it, $2.5 billion or that Microsoft? Yeah, gave, something like, like yeah, that. Something like that. Something it's, ridiculous it's like that. So this is, this is just like his, his pocket change, to be honest, $70 million. It's nothing. How but much he, did they I, give him? At like two point five or one point five billion dollars or something. It, it was two something. I think it was like two point five billion. I want to think. I don't know. Something two. That's insane. Yeah. First two I mean, games. Yeah, the game blocks. <laughs> Let's be honest. I mean, I love the game, but it's just blocks. I mean, anyone could have <laughs> yeah. come up with that, but he was the one that came up with it first, and there you go. Actually, now he's like, living. Uh, it kind of originated from like Legos or something. Like. Oh, most definitely. Most yeah. definitely. Yeah. He must have got ideas from that. It's like, I don't know, like, every time I think about that, I'm just like, you know what, somebody could have, like, gotten the idea from Legos. Like, the characters look the same, uh, just like the whole block feature and building stuff, I guess, but virtually would be a good idea for a video game. Yeah. Do you yeah. ever think that Legos maybe thought, oh, we should sue them? <laughs> probably. I think Lego I think Lego went and thought, god damn it, why didn't we think of that? That's I probably what they thought. I think you saw, like, dang it. <laughs> so simple. Um, so yeah, a bit of stats, an eight-bedroom house, eight bedrooms. What does he need? I, I don't even know if he's married and he's got an eight-bedroom house. It's got a room that is like, you know when you go into the stores and there's like all these candy dispensers? Like yeah. you put a cup in there and you push a button and it drops the cup. Oh yeah, it's got a room with that in it. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's got a 50-foot sliding door out onto his like back garden or something, backyard. Uh, uh huh. It's got a, one of the bathrooms is worth five thousand two hundred and fifty dollars or something ridiculous. Dang. Yeah, so that's just a little bit of what Mr. Minecraft is doing lately. Uh, outbid Jay Z and Beyonce, as I said, for this house. That's crazy. It was actually valued at eighty five million dollars, so he actually saved fifteen million. So good on him. He's a clever man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, talking about saving money, look at that perfect segue. We're brilliant at this. Assassin's Creed Unity, the fail of a uh, game, you know, that one that we don't really talk about because it kind of just it just crashed and burned. God damn it, Twitter, shut up. Sorry about that. Um, so they Ubisoft, credit to them, they withdrew, withdrew, English will come to me, withdrew this season pass, and anyone that had purchased the season pass is now entitled to a free Ubisoft game. And you know, you probably thought like they would give like their really crappy old games like Assassin's Creed Black Flag away, which they did. But let me read the <laughs> list to you and you guys can tell me what you think of this list of a free game. Okay, so you can get Watch Dogs. Not really interesting. Rayman. Okay. The Crew, which is their new racing game, which looks okay. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Oh, great. Yeah. Assassin's Creed game for an Assassin's Creed game. Thanks for that. <laughs> Just Dance 4. Really? 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, this one, fair credit to them, Far Cry 4. You can get Far Cry 4 free now if you bought a season pass on Assassin's Creed. That one's pretty, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's like a brand new game. And I mean, how much do you play for a season pass? I don't even know. 25, 30 maybe? Probably half yeah, of so, that, yeah. Yeah, so it's like half the price of a game. Pretty good, I think. Pretty good. So good on you, Ubisoft. They have had a bit of a mess up lately, but at least, you know, they're trying to make up for it. They're not just being like, no, you can't have it. No, being <laughs> our money. Sort of, I'm sure they'll fix Assassin's Creed anyway. Like, surely. They're not just going to let it be a fail. It was a I haven't played the game, but yeah, I've heard a lot of people pretty mad Rant about, about that. It, yeah. yeah, ranting about right. it. Talking about Assassin's Creed, this isn't in the script, but it just came to mind because I actually remembered something for once. They've, uh, I don't know if we spoke about this last week, Merc, but the new Assassin's Creed has already been announced, leaked. The Next new, year's version. I know, I actually, ha I don't think we spoke about this. I don't even think I've heard about this yet. Yeah, yeah it's it... been leaked already. <laughs> Dang, they're making a new one already when this other one just like <laughs> just failed. Yeah, you know it I mean? went to poop. Yeah, yeah. Guess where it's gonna be? Uh, where it's gonna be featured? Oh, E3. oh, we did talk about this. It was uh, uh, one sec, one sec, one sec. Weren't we thinking? Wasn't it like something like a Chinese atmosphere? I don't know, or something. No, no, that. That's what we were saying we'd like it to be. It's in London. Oh, in good London. Old, good old exciting London. London. Oh, it's, yeah, your neck of the woods. Yeah, my, well, 
I'm kind of like a couple hours away from London, but yes. Ah, close enough, close enough. Yeah, uh, you know, it's somewhere on this little island that has <laughs> crappy weather and really fish pale skin people. And fish and chips and fish. I don't fit in this country at all. I hate fish. Yeah, I don't, I don't like fish either. <laughs> I don't like fish. Well, fish I doesn't really like fish. like fish. Like, I like ceviche. Okay, we're talking about Spanish now. Okay, but you were saying? Uh, yeah, I don't know Spanish, so you guys are just going to carry on going on there, and I'm just going to sit here like oh. an idiot hosting a podcast. I don't understand. Ceviche oh. is lemon, and it has, like, uh, fish. It's raw fish. Yeah, yeah, it's raw fish. And you put, like, lemon, Ugh. salt, like, a whole bunch of it, and, like, your tomatoes and, like, all your vegetables and stuff, and then just mix it all together. It's put good. it in a corn tortilla, and if you want to put some avocado on it, you're, you're gold. Yeah, dude, that stuff's pretty good. Yeah, I actually want to eat some right now. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Sounds so good. Anyway, we were talking about Assassin's Creed, and uh, I'm going to keep talking about Assassin's Creed now before we get into a food debate. Uh, the creator, Patrick, I can't say his surname, it's Desolitz, Desolitz, I don't know, it's French or something, Desolitz, I don't know, whatever. I for Forgive me for butchering his surname. He has now announced, get this, he's working on a new game, a new series, get this, it's an historical action survival game. <gasps> sounds like Sounds like Assassin's Creed, doesn't it? Hmm. It does. <laughs> action. It's, it's historical, uh -huh. like Assassin's Creed. It's got action, like Assassin's Creed, and it has survival, not really like Assassin's Creed, but well, like kind of like no. <laughs> yeah, a Minecraft uh, Assassin's Creed game. How about that? Confirmed. How about that? Here to hear, folks. <laughs> yeah, confirmed. Minecraft is Minecraft Assassin's Creed. Creed. <laughs> Negative one out of ten. <laughs> but who knows i mean it is he's already said it's going to be a triple a title so that means it's going to be with a big publisher whoever takes it uh, and he says triple a titles are the way forward for gaming and he kind of didn't knock directly any games but he said that's where video games are they're triple a games so there we go whatever i like indie games so nah. as do i my uk fan. Yeah, i'm sure fever you must like them you're the ps vita that's like some of the best games on there are indie games yeah, it's pretty much everything. <laughs> no, but yeah, I love, I love indie games. There's some crappy ones, obviously, but there's some pretty good ones. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, Merck, you had something exciting to tell us too, and I can't remember what it was, but can you remember? What, oh, yes, you do remember what it was. I remember what it was. <laughs> it was after, let's see here. It was uh, YouTubers and their Oh, first... okay, 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 okay. Yeah, now I know. Sorry about that. Um. Okay, for all you guys that don't know, a lot of Minecraft YouTubers, as well as PlayStation, maybe, I think it was only one PlayStation YouTubers. I'll go ahead and call them out. Um, you know, not, not call them out them. in the Yeah, not literally <laughs> call them out in a mean way, but actually, Calm like, down. you know, like, rapper. Guys, but, uh, so a lot of them have been getting their channels terminated due to, uh, there actually hasn't been, like, rightful claims on it. I think it's just been... Like certain things, I don't even know, like certain maps and buildings and stuff like that have just been getting copyright claimed or even flagged due to people not liking them or people just want to be idiots in general, hating on other people. But, um, so one of, uh, I'll, I'll call off the one that I know. One, a lot of them are Xbox YouTubers, so one of them, uh, pff, I'm like stuck in a bundle here. Comic, <laughs> Comic, Comic 11, I think Comic, Comic 11, right? That's the name? Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, He's a very good map builder. He built, uh, I forgot what map he built. He built some pretty good maps. Uh, he actually had a couple of his maps toured by Stampy. Um, pretty good friend of mine. Pretty cool guy. Uh, he actually got his channel terminated at 40,000 subscribers, which really sucks. You know, poor guy. Um, but I'll go ahead and um, you guys should definitely go support him. You know, he's pretty cool and he doesn't deserve to that to happen to him, especially, you know, the people that have a good positive energy and a good mindset for the community overall not our community but even just their community it's still like you know you want to you want to support those type of people but him as well as q dangler uh lemon lesion and a nirak for all you guys that know nirak or niri k some of you guys call him by i know some people call him that i believe it's pronounced nirak but uh mm -hmm. he almost got his channel terminated due to some maps as well uh, i i remember he posted a gaiazo of it it was uh I think it was a, they were flagged for something. I don't know. I believe it was somebody that flagged them. Yeah, well, it was some guy. Yes. I know Key Danglers was all his flags were from the same guy on just random videos, and he's really pissed off. Like he's taking it to his lawyer and stuff because he was like, "Yeah, sure, some of them were for tags, but like four or five of them were just someone flagging it, saying it was his video when it was had nothing to do with the guy." 
So he's pretty pissed off about it. Yeah, and these guys were they, a lot of them were bigger. Like a lot of them were fairly huge. Like yeah, Q was sixty k. Yeah, and Comic was forty thousand. Nirak almost lost his, and Nirak is at six thousand, I believe. Yeah. And they've been doing YouTube for a long time as well. They've been doing it for years, and then for them to just get their channel terminated just like that, and they can't really get it back is the disappointment, I'm sure. I would be really mad, and, you know, shout out to them for getting it back up and continuing to pursue this journey, because I know for a fact that if that happened to me, I'd be really pissed, and I probably would just, like, destroy my computer and, like, <laughs> throw it in the trash. Well, speaking yeah. of which, um, I, I guess I can attest to that, because that did actually happen to me. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but yeah. Before before this channel, I had another channel called Fever Once Again, which is the reason why my Twitter is Fever Once Again. Um, I had fourteen thousand, and I'm not close to what I have now, but I have fourteen thousand. And again, because of copyright, it wasn't a, like a random person. It was more actually Activision that wasn't too happy oh. about it. Oh yeah. I posted some Call of Duty gameplay on the PlayStation Vita, which they weren't even posting anything. So I was like, oh, let me let me go ahead and help them out. You know, spread the word and all that. They didn't like it, so they end up actually targeting me and then deleting my channel overall. And it was pretty depressing. I'm not gonna lie, fourteen thousand and then like be gone. probably gone like within seconds. It did really suck, and you know I was just to the point like I don't even want to do YouTube anymore. But sure enough, I decided you know what I still want to do it, and here we are. Started back again. It's good that you started back up because then you ended up pursuing to higher heights than what you actually were at the time, which that's that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it goes to show that these guys, I, I know, it, I heard the stories, like, it, it really does suck, but just keep going, you know. It, it, I've been through that, it really does, but knowing how I am, how bigger I am now, in a way, it's like, I'm glad it happened, kind of, <laughs> if I had to take something away from it, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every cloud has a silver lining. See what yeah. I did there. See what I did there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because your name is Cloud. Oh, ah! oh yeah. Nice, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's illegal in this country, you know, so I might get sued. Get or, fired. Uh, product, product placement, so whoops. Yeah, so guys, just go ahead and support them, you know. Hook them up with some new subscribers. Uh, Castle Crafters Crashes. What are they called again, Merck? Yeah, Another Castle, channel. Castle Crafters, I believe. Yeah, Near X Build Crew. Yeah, they actually got terminated as well. I think it's just somebody targeting, like, maybe the builders and stuff like that, because Near X in that build team, and I know some other people are in there as well. And I think yeah. people, people might just uh, maybe, you know, maybe some confrontation that they've had among their fellow peers and they're just taking it out now. They see the action that people are getting, how they're getting copyright or how they're getting flagged for their videos and their channels getting to down. So they're going to take action as well. They're just going to yeah. do it while it lasts, you know. Yeah, it's just it's really if people are out there just flagging it for fun, it's just really dumb. It's stupid. Yeah. yeah. Irritating, immature. All that kind of things. But then again, you go and read some YouTube comments and you can kind of obviously see where it's coming from. Some people are really immature in this place. It's yeah. crazy. And stupid crazy. too. Yeah. Stupid. Well, talking about copyrights and kind of same thing. It's not really. I'm trying to make a segue here, but it's not working. Uh, Sony were recently sued over graphics. Want to guess what game it is? How stupid this is in the first place. Minecraft. Yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> is-, is it Minecraft? <laughs> No, no, no. It's a kill zone, and uh, they advertise it as 1080p, but apparently when it comes to the multiplayer, it's actually at 960, and then it's it's bumped up to 1080. I don't know, whatever the Xbox is doing right now, um, how they not native 1080p, they actually scaled up into 1080p. I don't know. It's, it's just numbers and mass and weird stuff. In the end, it does come across 1080p, but it's not native, and some guy decided he wanted to sue them because it wasn't in actual 1080p. Jeez. And what an immature piece of crap. Seriously. Yeah, what, what an idiot. Like, I, I, you know, I, don't, I feel like these people that sue are like, oh, yeah, this is for us. It's like, no, it's for you. <laughs> yeah. You just want more money. Because Sony, Sony also Sony got sued people. over the PlayStation Vita. Uh, I think it was like a few weeks ago because they yeah, were advertising they, they that you can play. One, yeah, yeah I, apparently you can, they were like, yeah, you can play like, you know, home consoles on your PlayStation Vita, you know, straight away, remote play. But as many people know, remote playing PS3 when they launch, like when the PS Vita launched, it didn't really work. Yeah. yeah. And so, but Sony was saying, "Oh, you can do that." But then, then someone sued, and then sure enough, you actually uh, to the point where they they made like did a, a like a lawsuit settlement. So they're supposed to be paying people that bought a PlayStation Vita before 2012, uh, like June, get like ten bucks yeah. or something. Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, but it's ridiculous that people end up suing for like the most dumbest thing. Like, dude, come on. Yeah, with that, it's crazy because you technically could play remote play, but no developers included in their game. So it wasn't technically Sony's fault. It was the developers for not including it. So really, yeah. I don't know. It's just crazy. And I mean, this guy is ridiculous. I mean, it's it, you, you cannot tell the difference in pixels between like 910 and 1080. There's just no ways. It's not possible. It's the same people that are like, oh my God, Sony's graphics are so much better than Xbox. It's not. It's like, it's it's 100 pixels on a huge screen. You can't tell. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Shut it's up. like 100 <laughs> Minecraft blocks right there. I mean, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. <laughs> yeah, it makes a difference. Maybe if you're looking on a, a huge Magnifying wall. Or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you pause and put it on a huge... 62 inch tv maybe but on regular size televisions no one can tell the difference and sony is just really having a bad time honestly i mean they've had the interview which we're getting onto just now they've had this ps vita thing they've been sued over kill zone uh they're just really really bad time for sony but they'll yeah. make it through we know them we know they'll make it through and the final bit of news information of the week finally we are there a user name uh, Powerlight 13 has recreated the Star Wars trailer via GTA. Now that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. I had a look at it. It's it's not the best GTA movie trailer I've seen because there's quite a few of them. But the fact that he got it pretty much spot on with the the uh, like the scenes and that pretty good. Even the lightsaber. It's obviously edited in, but he's got that scene in there too. So it's pretty cool. I'm impressed. You guys should check it out. If Merc remembers to link it in the video, go look at it. <laughs> I will remember. I'll try. <laughs> no, I will forget. Forget. He'll forget. Yeah. Okay, so the news is all wrapped up. We're on to the discussion section. And that is, as I said, Sony recently uh, got hacked and a whole lot of crap is going on. They've been sued by a lot of their workers because of important information being released and all that kind of jazz. I don't know why I said jazz because that's a weird word. And uh, their latest movie, The Interview, which for those of you who don't know, is about uh, Seth Rogen and James Franco uh, plotting to kill the North Korean president. I don't remember his name. Kim Jong Un. Some Un. There we go. <laughs> uh, and apparently the rumors are North Korea hacked Sony and released all the information and stuff. And now they threaten to bomb people that went to go see the movie. And it's just kind of a mess. I don't know what you guys have thoughts on that, but it's just it's a Wait, mess. Wait, you right actually now. saw it? No, I've seen the trailer. Oh, yeah. I've seen the trailer. Seen the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I guess, again, uh, whoever it was, was it like the Guardians of Peace or something? They were calling themselves like the hackers or whatever? I don't know. Uh, so something, I don't know. something stupid. So they were going, <laughs> oh, you know, we're going to like terrorize the people by saying if you go watch it, we're going to go ahead and bomb uh, these theaters. And I think Sony, it was more than just that. I think that a lot of people are like, oh, Sony bowed down to North Korea. But I think it was more financially because none of the movie theaters wanted to carry this movie out, and so yeah, like, that was the big like the problem. big, yeah, the one of the like the big uh, movie theaters were like, nah, we're not we're not gonna show it, we're not gonna like you know do that because of like the Arario movie shooting that happened two years ago, and if you yeah. guys recall that it was like the Dark Knight shooting that happened, this guy oh, yeah, killed yeah. like twelve people, and I think that a lot of people were like, uh, we don't want to repeat that, and then if, in case if Sony put the movie out to movie theaters and this happened. It would. Everyone would like be pointing at Sony. Like you knew it. You knew it. They told you, and then you went ahead. And so I think it would have been way worse at that point. And the other thing that you have to kind of keep in mind is these movie theaters didn't want to show it. So financially, it would have hurt Sony. So I think what they want to do is kind of wait off until people kind of well until like the whole issue settles down a little bit, and then maybe release it on demand or on Netflix or whatever they end up doing it. Because I think that they still want to release it. It's just that right now it's not the perfect time for them. Yeah, they said what they said so far is uh, the official announcement was we have no current plan for the interview. So they didn't say it's done, it's getting crashed, it's getting thrown away. They just said, you know what, we're not in the position to deal with this kind of thing right now. It's going into our back pocket and if we're in a better financial position later on in the year or something next year, maybe we'll release it then. That's that's more or less the statement they've given. It's a yeah. pretty good thing that they have set up there then because... I think it's it's all theaters that don't want to release it, huh? There's, like, a bunch of them that, like... I've seen pictures on Reddit before where it's, like, uh, Kim Jong-un going, boo, and then, like, a bunch of the theaters, like, trying to run away and, like, take off. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty hilarious, but at the same time, it's a, you know, it's a serious matter. 
Yeah. I noticed the, 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 the people over there in North Korea, they don't even have internet access or none of that, so it's kind of like... It's, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a pretty secretive country. country. Right? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. It's a pretty, pretty dodgy place, but uh, uh, it brings up an interesting discussion because, you know, a lot of people say, you know, World War Three is going to be just one nuclear shootout and going to demolish everyone. You know what I think it's going to be? I think it's going to be a cyber war. I think it's going to be a whole bunch of hackers hacking into each other's federal stuff and just destroying each other's central Hat intelligence Hat agencies. But wasn't that yeah, like Black yeah. Ops 2 storyline? It was like a bunch yeah. of hacking? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it's going to be. No, no one wants to nuke the world. I mean, I'm sure maybe North Korea uh, think about it, but no one's dumb enough. If one person shoots a nuke, the next person going to shoot it, then the next person's going to shoot it, and literally we're just going to have like five continents that are just nuclearly destroyed, which is dumb. But if you can get into their intelligence agencies and, you know, destroy their secret information, leak their secret information, that kind of stuff, it's going to have a lot more of an effect than just blowing up the entire country. Exactly. That's true. So yeah. Here comes the uh, next World War Three hashtag cyber war. It's coming. Hashtag lizards. Uh, hashtag hashtag not on Instagram. <laughs> uh, you know, and even, I mean, it got so serious that Obama, uh, Mr. Obama said, you know, Sony have made the wrong move by pulling the movie because he doesn't believe they are real threats. But uh, I think he's missing out the financial problems. Yeah, Sony could have released it, no problem, but showing maybe in one cinema across like every three or four states, it's not going to work, is it? It's just, it's just not, not going to yeah. work. Yeah. And what, I mean, another thing that you can kind of interpret is like a PR stunt. Maybe the, maybe not intentionally, though, but as we're talking about it, right? And there's other people talking about it. So oh, when yeah. Sony maybe releases it two months from now, there's going to be more people wanting to watch it to see what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, saw, I saw stats the other day uh, on YouTube. The trailer before it had been announced and all that stuff, before this drama went on, I was getting like a couple thousand views uh, a day. And then... After that, for the like for a week, it was getting like fifty to a hundred thousand views. It like went up by like two, three hundred percent views. Damn. So it just shows you, in the end, it is a, it could be a positive thing, but I don't know. I think it's one of the things most people take interest in is like drama. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. People love drama. <laughs> yeah, people love drama. That's like, that's kind of why they, they can assure you. That's why they just like, oh crap, let's watch this, see what it's all about. I want to check out what's uh what's going on in this trailer here. Right, King Jong Who? <laughs> Eric Cartman. Uh, but uh, oh, you know what? I have another thing to discuss. You know, we're all into our YouTube and stuff, and uh, this is on the fly. It's not in the script, but uh, you guys watch South Park, right? Yeah. 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 What do you What do you think about PewDiePie getting his cameo in South Park? I, I did that, see that. Pretty cool. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. You didn't see it, Fever? No, no, it? I said I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, when, yeah. when he put it on. Yeah. He posted it on his Twitter. I'm like, really? And then I went to go watch the new episode. I'm like, oh, there he is. That's so funny. Cool. I thought you know, they were going to the make is... him look like an actual character. That's what I was thinking. That. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. I was hoping they would. But yeah. Those are... But even uh, then, but... what they end up doing in that, it was kind of funny because it's like, that is kind of true what people, what kids do nowadays. Just yeah, I was about to say, that's, play games. <laughs> that's completely, that's what society is now. It's like, you think about it. YouTube is just... Let's not play the game. Let's watch someone play the game. So, you know, good on South Park, making a funny episode once again. Uh, yeah, I just thought we'd discuss it. Interesting topic. If you guys haven't seen it, go see it. I can't remember what it's called. It's like hash, no, hashtag, no. What's it called? Someone tell me. Uh, I don't know. Let's look it up. I South Park. It. I'm going to look at it right now. C continue Pete and then I'll come back to you. <laughs> uh, there's not much to continue. I guess we can finish off our interview discussion. Uh, the thing is, with the interview, uh, they came out and said, you know, comedy is meant to cause some kind of controversy. That's what's funny about it, you know, when it's when it's controversial and it's kind of weird and kind of crossing the line, but not really. Uh, and it's pretty much it's a pretty sad day when comedy call has to be, you know, cut off. What do you call it? Freedom of speech. It pretty much is just freedom of speech, and they've just taken away because they didn't like the idea of the story. Yeah, and that sucks. Mm -hmm. That really sucks. Yeah, honestly, the whole like because South Park for that's a per, South Park is a perfect example of taking it over the line. They make fun of so many celebrities that like it's it's. Uh, it, I'm pretty sure they do get pissed, but honestly, they can't do nothing about it. Even if they were to take like action, and do it. There's so many people enjoy it and stuff like that. It's just that is honestly what it's comedy is a, a part of. It's making something. Yeah, funny, yeah. yeah. 
And I, I think the other thing that you have to also realize that Sony is Japanese based. So they're much more closer to North Korea. And maybe <laughs> cultural wise, you know, stuff like that. They don't want any beef with anyone you know, at this point. Like, so maybe that's why they also pulled it out. Because uh, even pressure from like the Japanese studios. Hey, we go with it. These guys are like two blocks away from us. Just yeah, remember? exactly. If they're gonna if they're gonna take it on someone, it might just be us. So let's not let's not do that. <laughs> but then I don't know. It's it's a lot of things, and who knows? Oh, the episode is called. Speaking of which, the episode is called hashtag Hoppy Holograms. No, oh, I knew it was hashtag something. <laughs> I think the first one is hashtag. And the <laughs> There's one a one Bill Cosby holograms. episode. Okay. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I've heard Bill Cosby has actually been accused of uh, rape before. A pedophilia. Yeah, yeah rape, like 50 yeah, Is that actually million. true? Uh, it's, it's, who knows? It's weird. Uh, who knows? Because he, you know. he hasn't said no, but he, he hasn't but he said hasn't, anything. In, yeah, he's just, he's he's old now, though. He's like 70, isn't he? 70 something? No, he's old. He was like, or isn't, isn't, wasn't he like a comedian or something? Like, he would do something. Yeah, he was in his show, the Bill Cosby show. And yeah, even before was, that, yeah, he had some other. Some some other shows or like like appearances or whatever like me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever, so, people make fun so of it. many yeah. There's so many famous people that have been accused of it lately. It's just ridiculous, especially here in the UK. I don't know what's up with it. Like God, <laughs> there's been so many people just like oh yeah, this the people just come out. I don't know if they're doing it for attention or whatever. They're just like oh yeah, this guy he raped me. Oh this guy yeah, he was a pedophile. And it's just like every second you know? person was a pedo and it's just yeah, like I almost God feel damn like, it. Yeah, I almost feel like oh you're rich? Ooh, I can take advantage of that. Oh yeah, he raped me. That's exactly. Him. And you know what the problem is? That's such a bad attitude to have because uh half the time some of it probably is true, but the problem is it's that, you know, the stupid nursery rhyme, you know, little bad wolf called whatever called wolf too many times the boy you called wolf, that's the one. Yeah. You know, everyone's like oh yeah, rape 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 and then uh, that's not something I thought I'd say in a while. <laughs> it's just well, you, keep your hands you to yourself. Dilute, yeah, <laughs> you're diluting the real problem with yeah, just exactly. too many people coming out. It is a problem. It definitely is. I mean, I don't condone it. No one can condone it. It's completely wrong, uh, especially when children are involved. But it's just you can't just all come out and try and be like, oh yeah, even if even if they did, like in seventeen or eighteen year old willingly chose to hook up with this rich famous person you know what you're stupid if you're going to do that you're dumb and you shouldn't be claiming whatever he did to you because he's rich and famous <sighs> around, okay around. Yeah, I, I agree with you cloud 100 percent. yeah that kind of stuff okay. annoys me uh and uh, that is almost the end of the session we're coming up to the end uh we've got a couple of questions not that many so i'll throw a couple at you guys that come to mind uh, I got two one, on Twitter. I got two on Twitter, but yeah, okay. go with you. You can, you can throw them in afterwards. Okay. So first one is, uh, how upset are you that Europe got TU19 first? Well, I'm not upset because I'm in Europe. How do you feel, Peeper? <laughs> I was, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty upset, to be honest, just because uh, we can hear you playing it in the background. Uh, I believe it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday when it came out. And um, <laughs> that was That's pretty sad. <laughs> I could hear you and your little brother talking about the wizard and all this. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, I want to play this so bad. I want to play Harry Potter. I want to kill Harry Potter in Minecraft. <laughs> Harry Potter isn't in Minecraft fever. He's a wizard, Harry. <laughs> You're a wizard, <laughs> Harry. <laughs> um, you know, I, I want to know why they did it. Never mind this question. Why? Why did Europe get it first? I can't understand. Surely Sony America and Sony Europe have the same like certificates that it has to pass, the yeah. process has to go. Why? why? I can't understand never, why Europe It never really first. clicked to me because it's the same thing that happened with Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition, but it came first to Europe territories and like the yeah. next day, United States. I, I don't know. It's so weird. Is it like, do we have chipmunks working over here <laughs> in the States? And then like... I don't know. It's just so it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I thought maybe it would be a time zone thing. So like it came at like 8 p.m. here and then 8 p.m. in America. That would make sense. That's fine. But it's a day later now and we haven't heard anything. So what's Maybe up with got that? Hacked. Sony got hacked again. Damn. Oh, yeah. Sony got hacked again. God damn it. They seriously need to sort out their firewalls. <laughs> but to be honest, everyone's like, oh, PlayStation Plus is always down. But people nowadays, there's so we're so off topic, but whatever. Uh the hackers have gotten so good, they're just like, you know what, if I want to hack that, I'll hack it. And they do. There's nothing you can do to stop them. Like, they can't. If they want to hack someone, a really good hacker will get in anywhere. And that's just they don't the care. fact that's scary. in life. It's, more, more, I know. After, it's like after playing Watch Dogs, I'm like, I don't trust nobody anymore. I can get my <laughs> credit card stolen any second. Like, right now, maybe. Yeah, I'm stealing your credit card fever. Oh, no. <laughs> Abroad, you. Abroad. 
<laughs> yeah. So when you see a UK account uh, being spent, you know why. You know why. Dang you, Ook. Dang you, Ook. Ook. Okay, second question. Do you even mind, bro? I don't really know what that means. I mind. Uh, question mark? That's my answer. Question mark. Hashtag question mark. Uh, I don't mind I craft, but, you know, that's that. bad joke. Bad joke. <laughs> Had a lot of them today. It's just, you know, evenings. So, Fio, what were the questions you got on your Twitter? Uh, via the Twitter, the, uh, the tweet that Merck sent out at yes. us. Uh, one of them was, I get, are you jelly of TU19? Which we're, we're more puzzled as to why they didn't come. And a little bit jelly. I'm not going to lie. A little bit of PB and J. A little bit of PB and J. <laughs> the next question comes from Super Santa, Super Motita, 2025. Tacos or burritos? Cloud? That is a good question. Cloud? Which one? I feel like we've had this before, and I can't remember. Because yeah, yeah. I remember asking Merck which one <laughs> I preferred. Uh, and I didn't know what, what it was which. Like, I didn't know what a burrito was. and Or they asked us if oh, we, we like tacos. I know. It's so sad. I'm sorry. But I did know what they were. Uh, but I think I'd go with burrito if I remember what Merck told me. Burritos are good. Mm, burritos yeah. Are, yeah, you know, I think I'll go with burritos because it fills you up more. You'll be able to, like, for instance, like a Chipotle burrito and the Chipotle burrito um, tacos. Probably you don't know what they are, Cloud. But Merck, No, but I'll like go with it. I'll go with it. But burritos all day just because you can wrap the tortilla around. You can add more and just – I just want to eat one right now. Let's go eat one right now. Let's go. Yeah, because because a burrito is the like the the soft wrap and the 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 tacos like the hard shell, right? Uh, well, I, I can, again, I can go into like the whole debate. Taco Bell, they do have a hard shell, but my traditional tacos is just a smaller tortilla. Oh. Yeah, that's like the real taco. That, that's like the real real Mexican taco. But if you want to talk about the the American one, it's like the hard shell. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with burrito either way because it's either it's bigger or it's soft. So that's Ooh. how I like it. <laughs> you hear the You perverts. <laughs> yeah. This is a kid show fever, damn it. Oh, you're the one that said it. I was just laughing because I tickled my funny bone. <laughs> Don't tickle anything. Not on the podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, guys, I think that is pretty much it for this week. It looks like we're close to the hour mark once again. So we've done pretty well keeping it keeping it pretty timely thank you fever for joining us merc do your thing the outro thing that you do the all the time thing. i don't know what you're talking about make, make it sure up. to follow me on twitter fever once again oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, I uh, fever and cloud styles channel description uh, channel links will be in the description below so i recommend you guys go both check them out fever does a lot of ps vita videos so for all those that love ps vita go check out his wonderful beautiful face he's mexican too so you guys will enjoy him. If you love me, you will love him, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, do you guys get any good advice? What do you know? Yeah, I, I'm glad that you guys had me in the show. I really yeah, enjoyed it. Good a lot of fun. Or maybe I can be a host in episode 27. Who knows? <laughs> 27. That's a long way away, but we'll keep you in mind. All right, bro. It was good to have you. It was good to have you. Very good. Thanks. We enjoyed Thanks for having me. Company. We enjoyed your company. Well, that's about it for today, guys. As always, live slow. Dream fast. See ya. <laughs>